Yo, what up, Synthesize Squad? It's your boy Michael Trav. Today we're getting into another tutorial. And this time I'm gonna be teaching you how to play notes in VCV Rack. First thing I'm gonna do, plug a simple sine wave into my amp, which is plugged into my audio interface. Got a kind of funky setup because I'm recording. And also, I want you to, you know, I'm running my audio interface into Ableton and I have the tuner plugin on so you can see what note I'm playing. All right, I'm gonna answer your question. How to play notes from VCV Rack or any modulars. You know, you just, you just tune the frequency knob. And as you can see, the note is changing. Now I'm playing C, you know, your basic C. If I wanna fine tune it, you know, Now I'm a little higher. Oh, now it looks like my my uh, my note is directly in the key C, you know, or it's playing the note C directly. Well, what if I want to change it up, you know? What if I want to play different notes at different times? Well, it's real easy. All I gotta do plug in this Seek three into this volts per octave. So if you want to play different notes, you plug a voltage into the volts per octave, and you're good to go. Boom. Now I'm at the default pitch. I'm playing that C again. Oh. Cool. Now I'm playing different notes. And it's only on one step right now, so it's like giving out a steady voltage. If I want to give out different voltages, Oh, now I'm playing hella notes, you know? Dang. Pretty cool. So I got my Seek 3 running, giving out these different voltages at different times, telling it to play different notes. But yo. I know what you're thinking, like, yo, these notes, they're out of tune, and it's, fuck, it's messing with me, it's not chill. Like... How am I going to get these notes in tune? Well, that's where some of these handy modules come in. You know, you could try and, like, get it in the right pitch. But it'd probably be pretty hard. It's surprisingly more correct than it usually is. Anyways, in order to play notes in the right pitch, you know, in tune, you're going to want to use something like this quantum quantizer. So... It's going to take these outputs and automatically make them correct. Let me show you. Boom. Plug it into the quantum input. And then plug it into the volts per octave. Plug the output into the volts per octave. Oh, oh now we're only playing C because I only enabled the C note. Oh, that's pretty cool. What if I want to... Now we're playing F. F and C. Oh, because I enabled two notes. Pretty cool. All right, let's play the whole C major scale. Oh. Cool. Well, now I got options, you know. I'm a guy that always likes to have options. Never be stuck in one situation. You know. I get bored if I don't got options. So now I can play a bunch of different notes. It's pretty cool. But, you know, what if I don't want to take the time to click in these notes and I just want to play the C mi major scale, C minor scale, F major? I just want to be able to play scales whenever I feel like it without clicking the notes because that's how I am. Boom. Okay. Boom. Now I'm playing the C major scale, but like, I got there in a different way. Buddha said, multiple paths to the same destination. And, you know, I just showed you two different ways to play the C major scale. By the way, if you want to download the quantum module, uh, it's ML modules, and it's the quantum. 
And if you want the quantizer module, by the way, uh, that's JW modules. And I'm gonna just switch it up to the to the minor scale, just to show you guys how it works. Boom. Let's play F minor. Oh, B minor. A minor, you know, white keys, pretty much same as C major. G minor, F minor, sweet, writing a song in F minor right now, this might come in handy. I could just plug this in, playing in, in key with my song, super cool. All right, boom, I showed you two different cool ways to play notes. I'm going to show you yet another way, because I'm just filled with knowledge. Oh. So now we're playing C. Actually, you know what? I forgot to tell you. This is just the standard oscillator. If you use this even VCO, you see, let me show you. It's like, you know, it might be out of key. Or it might be out of tune. Even if I plug this in. Sorry, my mouse is like glitching out. See? It's out of tune because like I didn't move these knobs in tune. So if you want your oscillator to always be in tune, then you got to use the even VCO. And if you want the even VCO, that's by Bafaco modules. Pretty sure that's a free module that's easy to get. But if you need help getting it, I'll show you. And boom, I'm going to just plug in. I'm going to go with a triangle wave, sweet waveform, you know what I mean? Boom. Now I'm playing a triangle wave. Let's say I want to play, I'm playing C, but what if I want to play D, you know what I mean? Boom. Guy like me, he knows. Oh my god, my mouse is glitching out. I need a new battery. Now I'm playing D, because a guy like me, he knows. D is two semitones above C. So I got this constance module by ML modules. Shouts out to ML modules. Um, yeah. And I could play a note two semitones above, three semitones above, four semitones above, five semitones above. Play an F now. Yeah. Seven semitones above. That's a perfect fifth if you didn't know. Boom. So, just kind of different ways to look at notes. And, let's say, you want another way to look at it. You can go to the chord tool. So, instead of playing seven semitones above, I'm going to select here. Here's the chord tool, by the way. It's by Sonos Modular. Go ahead and cop that, download that. It's a free one. Yeah, so another way to think about it, seven semitones is also a perfect fifth. Five steps above the original note. Okay. So there's two different ways to play a G note. Like I said, there's multiple paths to the same destination. So, you know, depending on what your needs are, you're going to want to use one of these different tools to play notes in VCV racks. It's a complex question to answer. There's probably an infinite amount of ways to play notes in VCV racks simply by sending out voltages into the volts per octave input. You know, it's easy. And if I'm using this harmony, you know, I might want to play some chords. So I'm going to get another even VCO. Get a triangle wave. Oh, now we got some harmony. Get another one. Oh, no, play a major third. Plug that in here. Oh. Got all kinds of harmony going now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You know, like, subscribe. I hope you learned something. Go out there.
Hop fun in the synth universe. <laughs>